Hello, on behalf of everyone at Trike, thanks for purchasing your Trike carving vehicle from the leader in human and electric powered three wheeled vehicle. The Tribrid pony you have received is 99% assembled, and this video, along with the owner's manual, will explain the quick and easy process of installing the front wheel, attaching the handlebars, and connecting some wires. All the tools are included, you'll just need a pump for the tires. It takes about 30 minutes, so let's get started. The box has everything you will need, except that pump, so open the top of the box and carefully set it aside. Now you can simply pull the entire vehicle straight out of the box along with the other contents and set them on the floor. Each vehicle includes a charger, keys, zip ties, owner's manual with registration card, and all the tools you'll need for installation and maintenance. Using a utility knife or clippers, carefully cut the white zip ties and remove the protective packaging. Be sure to cut the big zip ties holding the front wheel assembly. To unfold the legs, hold the steering column and gently lift up and down while sliding the spring-loaded bolts at both folding joints. They can be turned into the notches to be held in the open position. Lift the steering column upright and release the bolts to lock the vehicle in the standing position. Now remove the bubble wrap from the top of the steering column as well as the handlebar assembly. Using the supplied 4mm hex wrench, attach the handlebar assembly by sliding the stem onto the steering column. Align the handlebars to face forward as shown. Be sure the cables are in front of the handlebars. Tighten the two bolts, but do not torque them yet as we'll be aligning this later. Flip the pony upside down and rest the handlebars on the plastic packaging from the front fork. You may also want to put something down to protect the rear fenders. Locate the locking pin and make sure it is facing forwards. After loosening the two bolts on the front fork, slide it over the black tube while pressing down on the locking pin. The locking pin will snap up into the hole on the fork. Be sure the front fender is inserted all the way in and properly aligned with the front tire. Now you can tighten those 5mm hex bolts on the fork securely. Now let's take care of the wiring. Unwrap the cable from the front wheel and lead it to the bottom of the controller box. Using one of the provided zip ties, attach the cable to the outside of the cambering mechanism as shown. Leave some slack in the wire for the front wheel to turn. You can trim the zip tie off with clippers or scissors. With the 4mm hex wrench, unscrew the lid from the bottom of the controller box to reveal the wire connections. Carefully pull out the wiring and slide back the elastic protective sleeve. Be careful not to damage any of the wires or connectors. Locate the bundle of wires marked motor and then connect the white 6-pin connector with the matching connector from the motor. The three colored wires are next. Slide back the clear rubber sleeve and connect each wire to its corresponding colored wire. Yellow to yellow, blue to blue, and green to green. The metal connector should snap securely together and the clear rubber sleeves should be slid back in place to protect the connection. To connect the throttle, locate the wires marked throttle and simply connect the 2-pin and 4-pin wire connectors to their matching connectors coming from the throttle. Now find the two battery connectors and attach them completely together as shown. Then you can stretch the elastic sleeve back over all the connections. Carefully coil and pack the wires around the center post and replace the cover by fitting it into place and screwing the hex bolt back in. Take the number 4 hex wrench and flip the vehicle back onto the wheels. Loosen the screws on the stem just enough to be able to adjust the angle of the handlebars. And then straighten the handlebars by aligning the bottom ends of the handlebars 
with the bolts on either end of the front axle. Now you can torque on both screws to tighten the stem securely. Check the four screws on the front of the stem as well. To engage the parking brake, squeeze both levers all the way and press down on the silver button. Simply squeeze the brake again to release. Brake cables will stretch so you can fine tune them by screwing out the brake adjuster and tightening down the nut to keep it in place. Ah, much better. Tighten the handlebar quick release by releasing the clamp and tightening the nut on the other side. To adjust the height, release the clamp, press in the spring-loaded pin on the back of the steering column and position the handlebars before locking the quick release. To fold up the tri-bred pony, hold the handlebars and pull back on each of the spring-loaded bolts and rotate them into the unlocked position. After you've started to fold the steering column down, you can release the bolts back into the locked position. Once the vehicle is all the way folded, the bolts will snap into the folded joint to lock it into position. Let's see that again. Hold the handlebars and unlock the pins. Fold the frame, lock the pins, and storage is a breeze. To unfold, it's the same thing. Hold the handlebars and pull back on both spring-loaded bolts. Unfold the frame, and lock both bolts into place. The ignition key also locks the battery. Push and turn the key to unlock, then you can remove the battery. Replace the battery using the same steps in reverse. Press the white button and the LED lights will indicate how much power is left. The speed limiter switch will control the speed, one for full speed and two for slow speed. With the key in the on position, press and hold the green button for four seconds to turn on the power. Do the same thing to toggle the power off. The throttle controls the variable speed of the motor, so start by slowly twisting the throttle grip to accelerate. To adjust the brakes, you'll need the 3mm and 5mm hex wrenches. Insert the smaller 3mm wrench inside the large caliper lever bolt to reach the brake pad inside, and screw it inwards until it touches the disc. Then back it off until the brake pad is not touching the disc. A light rub is okay. With the 5mm hex wrench, repeat the process on the other side, accessing the brake pad through the spokes of the wheel. Adjust the brake pad until the wheel spins freely. It may take a couple of tries. Almost finished. It's time to get that pump out and inflate the high pressure tires. Proper inflation will ensure a smooth ride and effective carving, so be sure to check tire pressure before every ride. Each rear tire should be inflated between 70 and 80 PSI. And don't forget that front tire which can be pumped up to 70 PSI. As you should do before every ride, do a quick check of all hex bolts to make sure everything is tightened properly. Include the entire cambering mechanism, axles, controller box, stem, folding joints, brake levers and brakes. The owner's manual is required reading for all trike riders. Review the riding and safety tips before your first ride and with all others who will try your electric pony. Be safe, ride responsibly, and have fun.